Hello, welcome to The Witcher 2 Blind. I'm Circle Master, and I want to thank you for joining me on this terrible journey. I'm just really glad to be done with the original Witcher game. That was rough. I don't know who that king is supposed to be. <laughs> well, we've got a party vote and then we've got the uh, serious vote next to it. Somebody party crash in the party boat. Is that a vial of liquid nitrogen or something? And we have the master archer who's suddenly less than a master archer. And only now is the king scared. That would not be possible in only two wax like that. This is the whole other boat, they don't care. What, the, what are they thinking? Uh. Well, I guess that explains the subtitle, Assassins of Kings, because the king got assassinated. Now, I went in already and set options, but I just want to show difficult QTEs is an option. Why are there even any QTEs in a video game? I mean, I don't know how strongly I can say this, having done it a Let's Play of Detroit Become Human, but still. I don't want QTEs. So here we are going through the tutorial, which somebody said was like the third hardest mission in the entire game. 
which uh, I have to imagine is like at the end of the tutorial, as opposed to at the beginning. Damn leaky boat. My boots are soaked. Yet another boggy shithole. So this is... Definitely a different control scheme from Witcher 1. I thought that... I... Well, I guess it is an entirely different engine, but still. I guess I was hoping that... Having played Witcher 1 would help me out in Witcher 2. See, is this like the up and down arrow keys open in the inventory? Because now it's telling me it's I opens the inventory. And it does indeed open the inventory. Alright, so that's obviously going to be the combat part, and I guess the hard thing would be, like, winning the whole thing? That's going to be my guess. Yeah, this is not exactly, uh... at all similar, so... I mean, at least I've got... Um, better visual design on the things. Uh, it's a little awkward with the camera being this close to him at this point, because I'm still coming off Witcher 1. I'm not gonna hurt you. Will you let me look at your wounds? Odd. You don't resemble a traveling preacher. Oh, damn the dogs, it hurts to talk. I wager my arm is the only thing keeping me in one piece. I'll find some help. Futile, I'm afraid. Around here, folk don't open their doors to strangers. You would do well to find my squire. I'd like to thrash his hide for fleeing from those corpse eaters. Consider it my final wish. I found his body by the river. Listen, let me brew you a health potion. You're no witcher, so it could kill you. But if I'm not mistaken, you already think you're dead. There's a slim chance that your body will quell the toxins and regenerate. I'll expire in this hole before I let someone turn me into a mutant. That's not how it works. Stay calm and lie still. I need to find some herbs. For whatever reason... Geralt's face is bothering me, and I guess it's just the newness of seeing uh, the new models, whatever, animations. Because lip sync is also weird. But again, it wasn't exactly great lip sync in Witcher 1 either. So I definitely... Uh, Glad to see the improvement. I'm also glad to see something that lets you identify interactables in the environment. This definitely feels... The, the control scheme feels like it was designed more for console. Like, I don't know if there was console versions of Witcher 1. I don't remember offhand. But it definitely feels like a lot of the UI was designed for a gamepad. Knock back this potion. Try not to vomit. Drink it. Ah! You're still alive, so that bodes well. 
But you've got a ways to go before you're at full health. Now you have to sit and wait. You're no mutant, so it'll be a couple of days before you recover and we can get you out of here. Thank you, Witcher. Oh, hallowed grief! Didn't have the chance earlier. I'm Geralt of Rivia. Bolton of Ironfoot. What the heck's hallowed grief? I wanted to try my luck in the arena, but some corpse eaters surprised me. My horse reared and I came crashing down in full armor. They pounced upon me with their claws. Though broken, I managed to drive them off and crawl here. Pitiful story, but there it is. Hmm. That could mean some paid work for me. Doubtful. If the corpses weren't eaten, they would rot, emit a stench, and breed pestilence. Ah! Oh, damn the dogs! Those who fall in the arena, their bodies are cast into the ravine. The dead offer little in terms of diversion, I'm afraid. Except perhaps to monsters. Get well, Bolton of Ironford. And farewell. You must take my invitation. If but half of what I've heard about witches is true, you ought to manage well in the arena. Thanks, Bolton. I thank you. And now, Geralt of Rivia, if you've no objection, I would finally like to get some sleep. So here we go, off to the combat tutorial. And that's not a real lore. Who stalks the night? Be gone, cursed soul, or I'll stick the hounds on ya! Got corpse eaters on this side, so I'll take your hounds any day. A jester, eh? You're all jesters. You all think you're droll till you enter the arena. No room for joking around in there. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm soaked and I'm freezing. Let me in. Ah, a vampire. I'll not let a bloodsucker in. Oh, no. I've got eels and garlic here. What do you say to that? I'll gladly submit to the eels and garlic trial, and the running water trial, and the beer trial. Who knows what you are? Evil crawls the night, corrupting the righteous. I'll wait for morn for the cock to crow. If the rising sun don't scare you off, I'll let you in. You want me to wait here? You there. All right. Let's find a place to rest. Oh, this is just the tutorial on how to skip forward in time. I did it. Still there, foul soul! Yeah, I'm still here. And the cock has crowed. As far as being foul, well, I may smell a bit. Has it got an invitation? It has. Then it may enter. Good luck to it in the arena. Now we get all of the uh, combat prompts, which I'm okay. I've got a lock on. Have I not got a lock on? Like, he's already highlighted. Oh. It's when their name appears. is not a rhythm game anymore but I have a feeling I'm just going to end up spamming attacks until the enemies fall down
So... I've got timed blocks, I've got dodging. Dodging seems way better because dodging doesn't take stamina. Wow, that is a tight window. That that was only there for a split second. Yeah, this definitely feels like gamepad if I'm using Q to cast and both of my clicks are attacks. Although I do appreciate not having to switch between styles anymore. That's him. Can I still attack while doing this? I guess not. Take that. That seems like a really niche ability. Like, how often is this actually going to come up? Oh, right, I've still got the Quen sign up, so I haven't gotten any vigor back. That's, that's great. That noise is me trying to hammer the six key on the keyboard, by the way. Yeah, definitely not uh, not really viable to to go for the number keys in mid combat. Again, and seems like something that was designed for a gamepad. using E for. Oh yeah, E's block. That's why not E. Yeah! So that... Did that not work? Like... Like, it's really hard for me to do this trap tutorial while an enemy is attacking me at the active moment. Like... So... So that was me trying the hold R, and that clearly 
doesn't mean aiming precisely, it means aiming manually. Which I did not realize at that moment. I thought you hold R for a charge up kind of a thing to do a better attack. Okay, everything's locked. I guess I'm supposed to be taking that one. Am I going to be, uh... Locked into that at this point? Alright, it still wants me to level up or something. Oh, the little dots are the, yeah, the mutagens. So that did something. Oh, uh, I wonder how badly I'm going to do here. I'm I'm going to set it to easy anyway. I don't think I'm going to rock out this combat system enough to get an actually higher difficulty. So, right, let's, uh, let's do the buffing thing. He's alchemy. Yeah, I guess that was it. So let me see what all I've got here. All right, let's do that. I guess we'll put that one on the silver sword because if I have an insectoid enemy, I'm going to guess I'm supposed to use the silver sword on it. And we'll take the traps that do damage. And since I'm going to start in this circle, let's strategically surround it with traps so that... Enemies can't bum rush me. Seems like a, a good idea. There we go. Let's do it. Now take the sword back out. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping. So I got one. Oh, I did like half his health. Oh, but he can block my attacks. See, I didn't... Oh, man, that is a narrow window for the repost. All 
Well, that's BS. I was well outside of the range of that. Come on. Yeah! Oh, I see. They get auto-tracking on their attacks. Like, as soon as he started that wind-up, he was instantly facing me. Oh, and I've got the next group of enemies already here. Alright, that one was my fault. But yeah, space to dodge is, again, it's an awkward thing. Let me get some bombs. Did that, what did that go off on? That like instantly... Oh, there's badness. Yeah. No, I'm not doing normal. Let's, uh, let's, let's dial that back. And that'll do it for this episode. Until next time, take care.